show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to make choices, submit images over Twitter and Discord. You can pay to play sound effects. Road ends in 100 feet. What the f***? It's your show too, friend. Hop on in and experience everything now. Well, what did he say he'd do to you? What does he mean, hit? No, like... Like... Like in an intimate way, or is he, like, threatening violence? Well, he's got dainty hands. He's Canadian, so I don't know. That's... Can you just take one for the team? We need... We... We, we need Deadpool, okay? We need Ryan Reynolds. Just let him... Uh, you, you can hit me, you know, back. No? Hello? Shit. Oh, shit. Hello. Hi, sorry. Doing a little damage control. A little Ray Donovan work here. Uh, Ryan Reynolds is running amok again on said Deadpool 3. Um, welcome to Everything Now Show Productions. Yes, please. Give it up for movies, everyone. Thank you all for being here, fellow producers, ready to make some movie magic. Uh, you know me, I'm Clark Junho, Bong Junho's stepbrother and less successful producer, stepbrother. Um, so I'm here to get this show on the road. There's a lot of movies being made on the lot and today we're gonna be casting something. I forget what it's called, I forget what we are casting. This is what we were working on last time. It was Surf's Pup which I'm pretty sure just opened in 3,000 theaters last weekend. Woo! That's right. How much did we make? Two million? Three? Thirty? Th Anyone know? Thirty, yeah. Thirty million? Yeah. It's a new car. America's got surf's pup fever. It's true. Thank God. We're making the toys. There's going to be seven more of them. They're going to cross over with the Fast and the Furious franchise. Surf's Pup is going to be in a car in five years. Uh, we made $30, is what someone's saying, actually. Did anyone, oh, yeah. did anyone check the million? Yeah, no, it was 30 $30? $30, it was 30 right? Yeah. We did 30 My parents saw it. Thanks. Amer America's got Surf's Pup fever. Yeah, right. They don't want any more of it, I guess. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll call Weta and tell them to stop working on the stuff. No, I gotta do this. We gotta do this movie. We're making a movie. You're gonna give me the title and we'll, we'll remember the log line together. We're gonna have actors come on here onto our audition green psych and we'll run some lines through. We'll get the characters together. We're gonna make a, we're gonna make a movie. You know, it's gonna be fun. You can interact in several ways. Check out the bottom left corner of the screen over there. For $5, you can choose a celebrity guest director and they'll come on in here. We'll, we'll fly them in and they'll give a little advice to our actors. And also if you subscribe today, first of all, thank you. Very nice of you. Um, you get to add your production company onto the list of producers for the film. These are the produ production companies, production companies from the last film. We had the author formerly known as Prince Harry, Goblin Mode, Dog Meat for Sale Limited. I don't know why I worked with them. Pork and Beans and Beans and Pork Corp. Huh. Well, you know, everyone's trying to get into the movie industry. So you never know where you're going to get your money from. Oh, and also a uh, wonderful friend of the show, Internet Crow, sent this. Uh, why am I forgetting the word? Uh, you know, like concept art. Drawing. Synergy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That is the word I was looking for, actually. This synergy of Surf Pup <laughs> right here. Um, really beautiful work. We'll go ahead and see if our movie today has anything worth drawing. Um, and if anyone draws any art of it, we'll try and get it up on the board. How about that? Huh? How about that? Uh, check out the sound alerts below. Um, you can make the people on stage who are auditioning over here again. You can make them change their costume. You can make them change their voice. And also remember, please, this is a 
active railroad track in the middle of the production stage. Uh, it's very cheap for us to be here, thankfully, but the train still does run through. Uh, okay, so we're getting some name ideas already for the movies. Bring in some, some, some film idea names. Some film idea names. Ideas for movie names. How about that? Uh, we have Bus and Powers in. The, the Spy Who Ghosted Me. Wow, okay, so really... You can't get Bus in, unfortunately. No? Yeah. No, he's busy? No, he's booked. He booked through his entire adolescence. Oh, God. Yeah, these influencer kids. Surf's What's Up. That's cute. Two Surf, Two Pup. We could start working on the sequel. Ideally, it makes at least $31. Uh, lizards! Lizards! No forks to give. Pregnant Greg. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Surf and protect. Hershey Candy presents Reese's the movie. Damn. Do we get the Reese's account? Do we get the Hershey account? They sent a cease and desist to us a few times. So. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Shrek 2. 2. It's a crab? Slipper Knights. With an E. With a, with a, a slippery little E hidden in there. Blaze... Six, one one sixteen. Blaze one sixteen. You are a new chatter. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. I'm gonna go with Slipper Knights. I'm gonna go with Slipper Knights. We'll figure out what exactly that is. But also shout out to everyone for suggesting things. Wolf Mother, if you're the Australian rock band, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, I really like. I really like Oceans One. It's really exciting. <laughs> What is that? I don't know. There's a whole world to explore there. But Slipper Knights, we're going to go with that. Thank you. Blaze116. Does anyone remember what Slipper Knights is about? That one passed my desk, but I don't remember the... Uh, I don't remember. We're making so many freaking movies. That might as well be a, a, a horror film or a rom-com, you know? Slipper Knights with a K-N? I don't know. That'd be cool. I just watched A Knight's Tale for the first time recently. That Paul Bettany. Is that Heath Ledger one? Yep. Yeah, he rocks in that. Yeah, but Paul Bettany, though. More like Paul Buttony. Dude, yes, dude. That's so true, actually. Ain't I a little stinker? Super nice is the protagonist that's the guy wearing the nightcap and he's holding a little candle yes. when he walks around. That is correct. Tired. That is correct. He is a Scrooge esque individual. Um, it's about sleepwalking assassins. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Good. Damn it, that's cool. Um, a persecuted foot fetishist. <laughs> yeah, Lord knows we need that movie. It's a retrospective of a director's relationship with their mother and their slipper nights. <laughs> Use the studio's insurance and get help. <laughs> R.I.P. Heath. A, re uh, a retrospective of golden age of cobblers and shoemakers. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's like the Babylon of people who make shoes. Um, it's a Cinderella musical, a la Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> Sorry, a la Lin Manuel. I know who you're referring to. There should be a montage at the end where we just show a bunch of different <laughs> shoes that are better than the shoe that's been in the movie the whole time. It's like it's like the first shoe, yeah. and then the shoe arriving at the station. So the on Air so. Jordan. Yes, the Air Jordan comes the in. Rocks are in there for a second. <laughs> yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, it's like Toy Story, but for shoes and slippers. <laughs> Fuck. I forgot that I work with a think tank of geniuses. Um, I really like Sleepwalking Assassins. It's like like Wanted. Remember that sick movie? John Wick was very tired. It's like a sleepy John Wick. That's exactly right. Yep. It's like Mike Birbiglia's Sleepwalk with me, but if he's he, like if a he, killer. Exactly. Exactly. And if he wasn't just a killer, storyteller. Dude, yes! Dude, you're kind of on fire tonight, dude! It's like Sleepless in Seattle, but they're asleep. Yes, yeah. finally. Yes. Nora Ephron fucked up in the first place, that I gotta say. That was my problem with that movie. Yeah. I wanted them to sleep. Why am I seeing Tom Hanks' eyes right now? Me saying in the seat, eating my popcorn? Sleepwalking Assassins. Great. John Wick meets actually sleepy Sleepless in Seattle. Thank you very much, producers. Uh, I wrote down Sleepwalking Assassin. Okay, great. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get the hero. Um, let's get the name of the hero of this film. A sleepwalking assassin. It's a film about, yeah, let's do it like John Wick, you know? It's like a, um, a cabal of, of, of sleepwalking assassins. People who are the most ruthless killers out there when they're sleeping, when they're experiencing REM, and they have some sort of like kill switch that goes off when their brains go into sleep mode and they get up from their beds. 
and they go do ruthless murders to people who deserve it. Or maybe don't, because the rich control the world. Um, assassin. Great names. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Sunder Busflesh. <laughs> Starring the guy the guy who threw a shoe at George Bush. Uh, Slupped Up Vanderwig. Chad Milkwater. Bub Lorbson. Joey Z's. Ooh, that's clever. Uh, Rip Van Wick. Is that, Ooh, that's good. I love Rip Van Wick. Is that going to be like a copyright problem? I feel like Rip Van Winkle is like a... Pretty old. It must be like public domain at this point, yeah, right? it's pretty old. But is it John, you know? No, I mean, it's... You're not. I'm going to add an E at the end of Wick. Okay. There we go. How about that? Rip Van wick although i must pay credence to everything else here slip slippy slamantha <laughs> gord bovani <laughs> john adams rip van killington <laughs> josie parson his code name is the sandman yeah i can already imagine this movie in my head right it writes itself chimpus mcgrimpus Honk me, me, shoe. What shit. Me, me, shoe is very good. I'm gonna have to. Can we? Can I take a villain name right now? Maybe. I don't know. Is that too too soon? Bring that back. Surreal chemist. Let me do more. Rip Van Wick. Yep, we got that. Lolo Larber. Jack the Ripper. Washington Irving. Died many long years ago. Okay, got it. Cool. Yep. Rip Van Wick. Rip Van Wickle is oh, funny. That's a yeah. That's a. It. That's a I fix. Like that. All right, we're following the adventures, exploits, and aggressive but stylized murders of Rip Van Wickle. I, I like I like the me being on this side of the screen. It's like I'm like an M Night movie. Okay, we're gonna make this movie. We're gonna get Rip Van Wickle. We're gonna bring in an actor to play the hero and uh, get to know them, and then we'll run a scene. All right, you okay with that? Everyone ready out there? You got your sweet green salad and your, your juices. Thank you. My nipple hat, I appreciate that. I believe the French call them baguettes. Let's go ahead and meet our actor here. Hello, young man. Hi. Uh, you're here to read for the hero of Slipper Nights? Uh, uh, yes, I am. Fantastic. Uh, can we get your name and representation, please? Okay. Mort. Sugar. Sh sugar, like the... Um, sugar, like you put in a cup of coffee. Like you borrow from your neighbor. Like you borrow it from your neighbor. Got it. Thank you so much, and thank you, kind sir. More sugar, and do you have any representation? Are you, uh... Are you no. None whatsoever. All none. right, Indy. My first time on film. Okay, congratulations. What got you uh, out here to... To try acting. Also, while we're doing, while we're talking with Mort Sugar, let's go ahead and get a location for this scene. Thank you very much, producers. Mort, what's making you try acting? Uh, my grandchildren love the the moving pictures. They do. Okay. They love it. Very exciting. What's their Spider Man? Okay. Schindler's List. That's a big. Okay, sure. Uh, Wreck It Ralph. Okay. The Boy in Striped Pajamas. Okay, I'm seeing a pattern here, okay. Cast away. Okay, I've lost the pattern a little bit. But okay, these are some great films, absolutely. You know? For like, me, not my thing. But for the kids, I said, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> he said, all right, you know what? Because you love movies so much, I'll go audition I'll be and be in an one. actor. I'll be in one for wow. you. Wow. Never what? seen one. You're a great, you're a great grand grandfather. Thank uh, you. Moore. That's that's fantastic. You've never seen a movie? Never seen one. No, I'm frightened by them. So you don't know? You haven't seen Schindler's List? Uh, never. No. You haven't seen Wreck It Ralph? Not not a single frame. You haven't seen The Boy in the Striped Pajamas? Not very much. I take it it's a it's similar to this picture about a uh, someone who's very sleepy, who's very tired. Uh, yeah. yeah okay. Sure. Yeah. Um. Well, this will be interesting. Really? You don't, do you watch TV? No. Audible. I listen Audible. to books. Got it. Listen to them, yeah. So you know stories. I'm familiar with stories. Okay. What's your favorite book? Favorite book to listen to? Uh, probably uh, Paulo Coelho's The Alchemist. It's sort of like an allegory. It's a, sort of a hero's journey. Right. Yeah. All right, so you know the hero's journey. That's good. Yeah. We're going to be basically functioning in the same field. That's fine that you don't really... Steven Pinker's Better better Angels of Our... What is it called? 
better nature of our human angels. It's something like that. Is that? Is that a better, name? The better humans of our, of nature's angels. Oh, it's sure, something like a, that. We have a little tie oh, here. It was cemetery when I hit the button. Okay. We'll give it to cemetery. This scene takes place at the cemetery. And let's go ahead and get a pull up for the tone of the scene. Uh, great. What were we just talking about more? Uh, Steven, Steven Pinker. Pinker. Steven Pinker. Yeah. Okay, great. He, he wasn't on the plane. People he, always say he was on the plane. I don't buy it. Uh, oh, we're talking about uh, Jay? Got it. He, okay, okay. That's fine. Seems like a nice guy. I wouldn't I wouldn't peg him as one of those. No? Okay, fair enough. Um, great. What's that book about? I don't know anything about Stephen Pinker. Uh, it's just like how nothing is actually bad if you look at enough graphs. It's like most things are actually fine. There's not really poverty or racism wow. if you look at enough charts. Okay. And that's a philosophy that I subscribe to. All right, Mort. Good to know. Great. What do you do when you're uh, not auditioning for films for your grandchildren? I'm a human taxidermist. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. What, so. What does that you mean? Like weddings, bar mitzvahs. That adds more questions. If you have a loved one who tragically or happily passes away before a big event, I will stuff them, cover them in formaldehyde, and then pose them in any particular way that you like so that your loved one can appear at an event. Wow. You know, Bubby passes away three weeks before uh, little Sammy's big day. Suddenly, oh, there she is. She's up on the beam, I'm waving to everybody. Looks great. Why is little she rosy up? cheeks. Why is she up? On the beam? Up? <laughs> yeah. Ah, so everyone can see her. You don't want to tuck her away in the corner. I guess not. Is no. Is business good? I'm, I, ha I have no. to ask. No. No, it's people not good. Okay. Do you have satisfied customers, the people who do apply to your business? Uh, you know, I don't get a lot of feedback. Okay, it's a one and done. It's kind of sort of like, here's your dead relative. Not interested in talking beyond that for a lot of these people. Got it, okay. But I like to think I make a difference. Yeah, I, uh, I bet you do more. Okay, so this scene takes I place. I do babies too. Those don't do so good. You said babies? Yeah, you get a baby, you stuff it with cotton balls okay let's uh yeah let's we're gonna we're gonna do this scene because babies or... don't really do that much when they're alive so that's my thing is it's like what's really the big difference right. let's make this movie <laughs> yes mort that's the spirit okay so we are going to a scene in a cemetery okay um and then the tone is a children's film <laughs> I believe was the yep. the winning result. That's okay. perfect. My yeah. kids love movies. Okay, great. So you are playing the sleepwalking assassin Rip Van Wickle. Okay. And uh, it is the middle of the night, uh, and you are seeking through a cemetery uh, to kill your next target, which is uh, a grave robber. Okay. And uh, basically, you're gonna be kind of like kind of like a normal day of work. Right, because you work with dead body. Yeah, exactly. See, this is perfect. You might have the exact experience that you need to make this really sing. That's right, Mort. So you're going to get up to the guy, and you're catching him off guard, actually. Okay. You get him behind the back. And remember, you're sleepwalking, so you're kind of drowsy. I'm asleep. And out of it. Yes. And So uh, if I kill him, there was really no motive. There was really no, you know... I'm innocent in a way. Yeah, did you read the script? Because that's kind of like, they, there's like a whole 20 minute segment where they just sit around in a circle and talk about you the know, ethics of it. I couldn't find it on Audible, the script. Right, okay. I don't actually, I'm, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah. I, I don't read. Oh, you're illiterate. Yes. Okay. Yes. But I can listen to the books. I see. So you have not read the sides and you can't read the and sides. And I don't know how, but. I'm sure I can figure it out. Great. I'm in the cemetery. There's a guy. I got, ah! Yeah. We'll figure it out. Great. So yeah, you're sneaking up on the guy and okay. you, have, you have the element of surprise. Great. And um, you put your the barrel of your gun to the back of his head and he's oh. like begging for your help. You don't have a gun. Or Can we get a gun? Let's get him. We're going to fly in a gun. We're going to you a gun. 
this gun here. <laughs> and this is my gun. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeesh. Yeah. Hey, you know, the, they say sometimes the smaller it is, the, the stronger it be. Okay, it's careful with that. Is that loaded? No? Great question. Awesome. Great. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, you look like a natural. I feel powerful. Good. <laughs> Um, All right. Are we? Uh... I think so. And then, yeah. As soon as you have the gun to the guy's head, he's gonna beg for mercy. And this you're gonna... guy? No, no, not no, him. not him. Please I'm, don't. I'm no. a production assistant. I'll be. I'll be reading off of you. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Okay. Oh. Wow. Thank you very much, PA. Uh, hold the story. <laughs> no more. You're good. Don't worry about it. We actually just got oh. a celebrity attached to the film. Um, oh, sorry Great. to scare you. So we're gonna go ahead and see who that is in just okay. a moment here. Um, is that ready? And I'm fine. Uh, You're okay. Say. Who's your Who's your favorite uh, celebrity, Mort? I can't cut anymore. Um, so it's just on me. Mort, why would you be in trouble? Why would I be in trouble? Yeah. I wouldn't be in trouble. You got really kind of were, you, were you saying that you were, are you in trouble from the law or something? Uh, which law? Um. US? Yeah, national. One of those pills. Let's run this thing. Okay. I'm ready. We get, we get the attachment. Oh, we do? Great. All right. Oh, so joining the production. Very exciting. We have, holy shit, Jeff Probst from Survivor. Wow. Very, very exciting. Charismatic guy. Been doing his job amazingly for 20 years plus. That's really awesome. Um, I wonder what role he's going to play. Uh, Mort, are you from, you don't watch Survivor, right? He's a movie guy? No. No, he's like a TV show guy. Okay. Uh, you don't know what Survivor is? Uh, it's like when a plane crashes. Yes. <laughs> no, like it's not. the people who uh, don't die. Hey, PA, you spoke too soon. Exactly, Mort. It is just like that, I guess. Um, cool. Uh, so we'll have Jeff Probst join the film. Very exciting. Thank you, PA. Hey, when a plane crashes on the border of Canada and the U.S., where do they bury the survivors? Is that like a, the start of an anecdote? Is that a joke? Anybody? Oh, where do they bury the survivors? It lands right on the border. Okay, you're not Canada telling a joke right now? Or you and just... the U.S. Uh-huh. Where do they bury the survivors? Where? I don't know where. He's asking a question, oh, okay? He's, he's, he's not he's, posing a he, joke. You don't bury the survivors, they survived! Uh, it is. <laughs> more pills, okay, good. <coughs> Can we get some more some water, please? I'm fine. Okay. Oh, he doesn't need it. All right, are we ready to go? Let's do it. Uh, Slipper Knights, scene one, take one. <laughs> These phony old dead people don't know what hit them. God, son of a Hold bitch. Let's cut. Everybody, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Everyone, Mort, stand still. Please don't move or anything like that. Everyone. Oh, Lord. Whoa! Everyone good? Yeah. Holy crow. Everyone safe? All right. What was that? That was a train, Mort. Okay. An Amtrak. You get a good deal on rent. Yeah, really, really, really cheap. All, All right, right, we're gonna do this again. Flipper Knights, scene one, take two. <clears throat> and action. <laughs> the son of a god damn it. Hold for train, everybody. Cut. Thank you. It's rush hour. Right, yeah, all the trains are heading home from work. All right, <laughs> everyone hold for train, please. No one move. Oh, whoa. What was that? I'm sorry, Mort. Someone's pointing this out. You don't know what a train is? Of course I know what a train is. It feel, didn't seem like you did. Feel free to elaborate. When a train crosses the intersection of the United States okay. and right. Canada. I'm ready for this one. Yeah. yeah that's what I get more. I want to hear. Where do they bury the survivors? They don't bury the don't survivors. Because they're survivors. You? This kid is going somewhere. He's, right. he's with he's it. Sharp. He's a sharp Are you kid. Jewish? No. Okay. I don't well, know why that never was mind. relevant. All right, should let's we do, do this? this? It's fine if he's not. I don't know. Um, mm. 
It's okay. debatable. All right, let's go. Great. PA, uh, roll it. Slipper Knights, scene one, take three. <laughs> I snuck all the way in the- Bang, bang, bang! Fuck right. you! Hold for train, Shit. everybody. Thank you. All right, let's go. What's cut. happening? Everyone, please don't move. Hold for the train. Do not move! Whoa! Whoa! What the hell was that? They don't give us a schedule. No. We can't really plan around it. Really seems to be just anytime we start a scene. More, um, I know you can't read the script, right? But you don't start firing right away. Okay. You. You did uh, say I kill this man with a gun. Yeah, but there's a little bit of dialogue. I forgot. To I mention. should talk to him first. Yes, there's kind that of. That was uh, impolite of me. You're right. That's fine. You're okay. You don't know what Pulp Fiction is, do you? Uh, no. It's like uh, juice. So before you kill this guy, do like a very dramatic monologue. Okay. About you know. How you're bringing vengeance to evil people or whatever. But remember, it's a ki it's a children's. It's uh, for kids. Scene. Yes. We're getting notes that you should be sleepier. Ah, okay. Duh, duh. That's why we pay. Sleepy, you. right? Thank you, everybody. Okay. All right. You comfortable with that? Yeah. Right. That's great for me. Let's go for All it. Right. Uh, Slipper Knight, scene one, take five. <laughs> I can't believe I snuck into this cemetery and I'm stealing all these big jewels and necklaces from the dead people. It's a perfect crime for me, an already rich son of a senator. <laughs> no one knows I'm here. Wait a minute. What's that hot gun barrel-like thing against the back of my head? Oh, man. Who, who, who are you? Now? Yeah, go ahead. I'm your worst fucking nightmare, you dirty scoundrel. Oops. It's me, Mort Sugar, and I'm here to- His name's Rip Van Wickle. What? <laughs> His name is, you're, you're, that's your name. You're, the character's name is Rip My name Van is Mort Wickle. Sugar. I know that. The character that you are portraying, his name is Rip Van Wickle. What the fuck kind of name is that? It's like a play on Rip Van Winkle, who's like a sleepy guy. Okay. But you're like a sleepwalking assassin, so it's like John... You don't know what John Wick is. All right, just, your name is Rip Van Winkle. Just okay. go with it. My name is Rip Van Winkle, and your name is about to be on one of these big pieces of stone, you sick, dirty... Fuck. Oh, jeez, sir. I, I'm i sorry. I, 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 I'll, I'll change my ways. Please, don't do it. Have mercy. No. It does say that. Oh, uh, what if I told you I have a gun? What were you going to do about that? Are you for real? Uh, maybe. Maybe I am. Show me your gun. <laughs> All right, let's cut. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a note that it feels, <laughs> feels like he's about to drop a slur every time. <laughs> I'm feeling that too. I'm also Everyone's feeling that Everyone's getting that sense. <laughs> Everyone feels that in the uh, in the scene. All right, let's let's get some more notes. Not sleepy at all. Sleepier, right? Sleepier. Right. Yes, that's right. Also, Mort, I just want to give you a note that might help. Nothing is for real. You were saying for real, like we're doing a we're doing a pretend right now. We're j it's um it's make believe. Yes, like okay. like your grandchildren, don't they play pretend? Sure. So it's like that. Okay. So pretend it's like that. Great. Yeah, you're Rip Van Winkle. I'm you're, Mort. You're not. I know you, Mort. Right now. Well, so that's what we're saying. This is pretend. You're not Mort. In the scene, you're going right to be... Right now, I'm Mort. You are Mort right now. Yes. In the scene of the movie. Right. After the PA, the sharp non-Jewish one claps. Yes. Does the thing. Uh -huh. You become Rip Van Wickle. Okay. Can we get a so wardrobe it's like change? a lie. Thank you. It's like you're lying to, to everyone. That's, That's it. That's very naughty. Yeah, a little bit. The whole movie industry's a little naughty. We're gonna also change your wardrobe more, if that's okay with you. I've got a nice one at home. Like an armoire? Yeah, where I keep my clothes. Got it. No, we're gonna change the clothes that you're wearing right now. I think we're gonna try to make right it look like a little more badass. Okay, we'll make a little action action star out of Mort in, in no time. Okay. So, uh, so give it a second here. These, uh, Costumes flying muscles. in. This is muscles, okay. Yeah, yeah those are muscles. Ah! You okay? Nope. 
All right. And then it seems like we also the cowboy hat. Wow. Okay. That's gonna. That's that's, a, that's a good look. This is how I used to look when I was at Greenwoods. What's Greenwood? What is, this is what is summer that? camp. Okay. Okay. Cool. Jewish summer camp. Got it. Got it. Had my first kiss. That's really sweet. Wow. Rachel Goodbar. There you go. She was a looker. I bet. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and do yeah, this. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, he is very much like Clint Eastwood right now, I suppose. I oh. accidentally did take five. It was actually take four, so this is going to be take this four. This is take five. This is this take is four? This is take four. The last one was take five. Sorry to the editors. Yeah. All right. Slipper Nights, scene one, take four. Thank you. And now I'm not, now we're lying. Yeah, now you're lying to everybody. Great. <laughs> I can't believe I just scored the score of a century, getting these jewels and necklaces off these dead peoples. <laughs> Thankfully, nobody's around here to catch me. Wait a minute. What's that cold barrel of metal behind my head? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Who are you, mister? I'm not more, you dirty piece of shit. I'm Rip Van Wickle, and I'm gonna kill ya. Sleepier. Oh yeah? You just seem like some old man who's like out of his mind napping or something. I bet you're senile. Do you really have it in to kill me? The only reason I'm so tired is because I do this kind of stuff every day. In fact, I could do this in my sleep. And by this, I mean killing people like you. Oh, oh. P -p please, please, sir, anything. Don't. Can you look in your heart to spare me? No. <laughs> Alright, shoot him. Pretend to shoot him. Bang! Now blow the smoke from the barrel. All right, let's try that again. A little cooler this time. Do what? The shot. The shot. Action. All right, now blow, blow the smoke. Okay, all right. Okay. Say cool. How does it feel to be a dead guy? You son of a that's fucking bitch! Fucking cuts. That's the, that's on the poster. Yeah. How does it feel It'd to be, be a dead, dead guy. guy? You fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah. Wow. More. Okay. Great. Yeah. Really happy with that. Do we want to go for another take, or no. are happy about that? I don't Let's want get that. to. You, you're good. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually fine. That's good. Me too. Me too. More. I'm very happy with. with what I we ran saw. out of pills. Okay. Are you okay? What kind of pills are? I got there? one more. All right. It's for my prostate. Fair enough, you don't have to tell it's me. It's enlarged. Okay. Huge! That's what my doctor says. You'd okay. think that'd be a good thing, because they say it's like a male clitoris, but for me, it's a big problem, I guess. How big are we talking? It's a great question. Uh, what is it? Compared to a fruit? Yeah, it's sort of like a star fruit, I think. Oh, that's not supposed to be shaped that way. Yeah, that's the problem, actually. It's not as much the size as that it's jagged. Ugh. Yeah, so. Like like a durian, maybe? It's kind of like a durian. All right. Stinks to high hell, right, I imagine. Right, right, right. What right. with it being in my anus and all. Makes sense. Anyway, I have to get home. Uh, yeah, we're, I think we're just about done here with the Amords. Do a soak. You ever do a soak? Yes. Yes. Love a good soak. Absolutely. Do you have bunions or something? I just do it for fun. Good for you. I buy products from Lush. Okay. You know about Lush? Yeah. All natural ingredients. Pretty exciting you go stuff. in there, you say, rub some of that stuff on me, would you? They have to do it. They do. I don't know if that's... <laughs> they have to. I don't know if that's the, exactly right, the case here. It. it also, you know, doesn't matter more because it seems like you're going to be a big Hollywood actor now. Congratulations, you're a Rip Van Wickle. Okay. You're the star of our movie, Mort. Right, right now? Uh, no. No. No, you're, you're done for today. <laughs> okay. So go right. home. I recommend going home and watching a movie. Yes, I would. Uh, I would yourself with them. I'd pop one. Maybe. I'll listen to one. You're gonna listen to a movie. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. You'll get a. You'll get a better sense of the structure at least. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay. Okay. You can... Okay. Go? Yeah. Right now? Yes. All right. Goodbye. See ya. Bye, Mort. Wow. Just like that, we have our hero of our film. Rip Van Wickle, the hero of Slipper Knights, will be played by Mort Sugar. <laughs> Newcomer Mort Sugar. And introducing Mort Sugar as... <laughs> As Rip Van Wickle. Can you believe it, folks? Uh, very exciting stuff. He's, he's going to be a game changer. You know? We like to work with non-actors. We're like the Safety Brothers. Uh, let's go ahead and get the name of our... Let's do our, let's do our villain. Let's do a villain character. What's the name of the villain in this movie? Anyone remember? I'm, I'm consulting. We had some really strong suggestions earlier. Yeah. If you already suggested a name. Feel free to... Bring it back it. in. You'll see what we got here. Max Awake. <laughs> Max Awake. <laughs> <Max -oh> <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. Centipede Watterson. Honk Shoe Mimi. Awake Drake. Damn it. Hope you're all paid well for your brilliance. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't think it, it fits, but really, props for Gay Terminator. <laughs> There's a different project. There's a different project. That's a, that's across the hall. Jim Cameron's been looking for that. You gotta you gotta get him gay terminator. Oh man. Okay, excuse me for that one. I'm awake. That's good too. Rod Serling. I'm awake. Yeah. A woke. Um sorry, there's so many. Trist Kalakian, that's hilarious. Cocaine Carl. That's a, a good character. Jake, oh, I'm not gonna say that one. Um, Slim Jim, Mort Sugar. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with, um, wow, Gay Terminator really broke my brain. Yeah, I, I forgot not, all of them. Like I forgot days. every single good one that was I above like, Gay I'm Terminator. A awake. I'm a? I'm awake. I'm a, I'm a. Yeah, I'm a, I like also Max Awake and Awake Drake. Yeah, all those are strong. I'm a? Is it I'm awake or I'm awake? Wake. wake. So Last it's name wake. Got it. First name I'm yeah. wake. I think that's the one. I'm awake. Got it. All right. It's the villain of the piece, um, and they are a sleep study scientist, and they're trying to put all these assassins to sleep for good. Is that was that in the script? Anyone remember anything else about that character? Um, let's see. Yeah, uh, they're trying to basically keep everyone awake so that the assassins can't... Right, can't do any killing. Yeah, exactly. Right, got it. So not so much that they're trying to kill them. It's that they're trying to keep them awake. Or, yeah, maybe they're... Uh, I'm sorry. No, that's a different movie. All right, so, yeah, they're the CEO of a coffee company. And they're trying to make sure that coffee gets into the water supply of every major town in America. Right, to increase productivity. <laughs> exactly. Which is bad. Which is, yes, which is, hence their, vil their villainy, you right. know. This is a woke film. We're, we're, we're socialists here in Hollywood. Holly weird. This isn't a sleep film. This is, yeah, exactly. This is not a, a it's, it's the opposite of woke, really. It's a fair point. Um, gay Robocop. All right, so let's go ahead. Okay. And save those for the Yeah, meeting. yeah. Sorry, I gotta put some on the whiteboard. I smell a franchise! <laughs> I'm energized by that. Let's go ahead and bring in our next actor auditioning for the character of Ima Wake. And they're playing the CEO of a coffee company who's evil. Um, hello, oh my gosh, hello. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, yes, yes. Great, um, what is your, you, what's that? Are you okay? I, I'm good. Great. Cool, everything's fine. Uh, what is your name and representation? Um, I'm a Pisces, and my name is, um, St Streets. Streets. But everybody calls me Amanda. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just, just want to make sure I got that right. Your name is Streets? Yes. Got it. But everyone, Nobody calls me that. No one calls you that. <laughs> no, everybody calls me Amanda. Everyone calls you Amanda. Yes. Understood. Got it. I can relate. My real name is not Clark. It is bong da da bong da bang da dang diddy diddy. So I, oh. you know, 
I understand. Uh, Amanda, and your <laughs> representation is that you're a Pisces. I'm a Pisces. Got it. Okay, cool. Good to know. That's a fire sign. Aha, uh -huh, I see. What's yes. a Libra? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? A Libra is kind of like a, a cat, big cat with stripes. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, Amanda, do you prefer to be called Amanda or Streets? Everybody calls me Amanda. Everybody calls her Amanda. Got it. Clark. Sorry. I'm just very curious about Streets. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it off. Um, Amanda, uh, are you an actor? Do you normally act? Are you a professional? Yes, yes, I've been I've been in every every film. You've been in every film. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> shit. Yeah. I gotta do my homework. Yeah. Um, okay, great. Sometimes uh, I'm really, really small in them, like uh -huh. so tiny you wouldn't even see me. But I, I I'm in there. Got it. Okay, so do you do like you're like a character actor? You do background work. Um, I, okay, what's your favorite project that you've been a part of? <sighs> Oh, I think it was, um, it was probably, um, what's the one with a, with a really big shark in it? Jaws. Shark Tale. Jaws. Shark tale. No, um, it, an even bigger shark. The Meg? No. And the shark is, it has kind of like a robot outfit on and it's walking around and it's cop. I just, I've been in gay every- Robocop. Gay, gay Robocop! Gay Robocop! You were in yes. Gay Robocop. I was in Gay Robocop. We're yes. making the remake of that, actually. You are. Very exciting stuff, That's yeah. right, I'm, I'm in that too. I just, I haven't, uh, I haven't thought about it in a while. Oh, good, good. Well, maybe we can get you involved in that one, okay. So, yeah, you work as an actor in every, in like all the movies, basically? In every movie, yes. Very exciting say, stuff. Yes. What kind of characters do you like to play? Oh, I like to play mostly, um, teeny tiny women. Okay. <laughs> So you mostly like to be small in the films. Yes. Got it. Okay. As small as small as possible, just as tiny as, as can be. Now, would you be willing to do far away? Normal <sighs> size, but far away. Like a, like an optical illusion of sorts. Uh, I, it's really hard for me when I'm getting into character to think of myself as any taller than about five inches. Wow. So I I, I could do it, but the quality of the work might slip, I hate to admit it. I see, so you think you do your best work when you're no taller than the size of a, a normal hot dog? Yes, although I, I would quibble with the word normal because I think a foot long hot dog's also quite normal. Fair point. Amen. Fair yes. point. Um, I just have one, uh, one thing that I have to demand. Please, uh, let, let us know what's going on. Is that, um, I, I just want to make sure for this role it's okay that I never ever have to see my own head. My my own um like the these these things. Um. Just stop. Yes, yes. But I don't I don't like to. Okay. Think about that. Okay, got it. Was that okay? Does this role require that I I use I use my? You know. It's okay. Cary Grant didn't know what to do with his hands either. Just don't say it. All right. So we're gonna have to think of a different word for the upper body appendages. Uh, arms are fine. Arms are fine? I can use my arms. I just can't. I don't want to see them. Oh, I can see them on the screen. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. Keep them down. Don't worry about it. Just hide them behind your back. That's fine. We have handcuffs if that helps. Ah! Oh, we have cuffs. What about like arm enders? Something like that. What are those? Arm the arm. Shoulders? Like oh, well, I see. Other way. Other way. Bottom of the arms. Bottom of the arms. Top feet. feet. The top, top feet. Top, top, top feet. feet. I can tell you, I love feet. All right, and uh, good to know you love feet. Great, um, and we're actually gonna get a um, we're actually getting a guest director in here. It is my therapist, Doctor Ass. Uh, he's coming in here in just a moment, and I guess he's gonna talk about your phobia of your top feet. And did we get a uh, a tone for the scene? Or are we doing that poll still? Because we got a hospital. We had it up there. We did have it up there. Yeah, it up there. Did anyone Someone remember? Remembers, I'm sure Someone surely remember. must remember. Lifetime movie. Lifetime, Lifetime movie. film. That's right. Um, okay, cool. So before we go into the scene, uh, Amanda, uh, are you okay? Yes. Good. Great. What happened? You know, don't wait for Doctor Ass to come. He'll talk about it. What? Um, so this scene takes place in a hospital, and uh, it is a Lifetime style scene yes. so you're familiar with the lifetime channel and the yes i've been in every tv show i'm familiar Duh. with the lifetime Gosh, channel i'm so stupid i'm sorry hey, knock, knock. oh and here's my therapist dr I ass a house call how's it going hey dr ass this is on vacation oh i can fine. tell it's fine where were you hawaii 
No, no, I was, I was out here. I was oh. seeing, seeing movie magic. It's beautiful. Very nice. Um, um, so this is Amanda. What's up? Everybody calls me Amanda. Okay, I'll call you that as well. Why is your nose bleeding? <laughs> My what? There's blood coming at you. Is that okay? Your, your is feet? there? Your face foot? I don't know if that's the way you refer to it. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, is it gone? No, not not close to being gone, but that's not important. It's very what, what brings me in here today, if I might ask? Uh, well, you're we're auditioning for a film. Yeah, we're, we're casting a movie, and someone called you in as a guest director, actually, so... Uh, oh, interesting. So I'm not... I'm, I'm actually just supposed to give my notes on how to make this scene better? I suppose so. Um, okay. Amanda here is a little scared of her. What are what's what's going on here? Those things. Why are you She's scared to, of those things. You, you can't even say the word exactly. I can't say what those are. These things. Yes. Okay. You know. Someone what they give are. me a hand with these. Seeds. Ah! Could you okay. just could? I, you don't like hearing. I just. Word. I'm a professional. I've been in movies since the 19 teens, and I just would think that there would be a little bit more respect on this set for somebody with so much experience. Yes, really sorry. I'm sorry you're, okay, I don't know what you're trying, why you're trying to touch me. It's like if you don't want us to camera. talk I, about them or say the name, you're really using them a lot. Do they have a mind, do they have a mind of their own? I, yes, yes. Okay. Don't let them hear that I told you that, though. they won't, they won't like it. This is like there's a movie from when you first started acting that Peter Lore is in, where the hands, sorry, Stop sorry, it. sorry, you fully I'm said it. Sorry. You just sorry. fully said it. Sorry, I, I, I fully said, said, said it, you I just heard fully it. fully said it. I'm sorry. You didn't even stop it. <laughs> I'm sorry, those things. Yeah. Oh, is this, is this M? No, no, there's a different movie. He's, I have, I'd have to look it up. I saw it a couple months ago. Got anyway, it. here's my advice for the scene. All right, I'm just gonna, why don't we just, there we go. Does there it? There we go. Does it kill Amanda? It'll do. It'll do anything. Okay. It's All right. my... Everyone, please uh, stay away from Amanda a little bit. All right. Here, I'm gonna give my advice for the scene. Okay. Please. Ready? Uh, you seem to have uh, deep psychological drama and issues that wow. are uh, bubbling at the surface at any given moment, and you could be set off on very easy things, right? Yes, I'm a Pisces. Yeah, yeah. Duh. Okay. Duh. Use that. Okay. So never deal with it. Never try to get any sort of control over it. Uh -huh. Never try to come to terms with any of that behavior, okay. mitigate it in any way. Just think that it makes you a better artist for some reason. Uh huh. And then just, I'm going to let you just do what you got to do. Just imagine it makes you a better artist and then make it everybody else's problem, figuring out how to navigate what's going on with you. Okay? Okay, so just like reg regular life. Yeah, yes. yeah, just great. Any problems you have is part of your process, and everyone else has to deal with it. Okay, okay. okay. All right, get out there. Thank you, Doctor. Thank Rass. you. Gotta hand it to that doctor. He's the best. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm sorry. Our bad. Okay, um, we're gonna do this scene. It takes place in a hospital. It's a lifetime style scene. Uh, I'm a doctor. And there's this dying kid who uh, won't wake up. And then you come in with your, you remember, you're, um, I'm a wake. You're a CEO of a coffee company. Uh -huh. And you've concocted this new uh, super jazzed up hyper caffeinated coffee that you're going to give to the kid. And he wakes up and he, you know, it's kind of like a miracle. And then your pitch is that you're going to give this to everybody okay. and that no one will go to sleep ever again. Okay. Great. Great. You good? Yes. All right, let's go ahead and try the scene out. Take one, Mark. Oh, yeah. my bad. That's a cemetery. I'm gonna cut. We're gonna have. To, we're gonna switch it to a hospital oh, real quick. That's fine. Everything's fine here. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and just get that to the hospital right now. Okay. Ah, hello. Great. Okay. Wow. Um, I just feared for my life there for a second. Um, Amanda. Yes. Have they killed before? They've killed more times than you can count. I can't count them. Okay, all right, let's just... Everything's gonna be fine. At least 14 times. At least 14 times. I can count to that. Bad. Okay, brag about it. Can Jesus. you count to that while a couple of hands are trying to kill you? You just said, okay. 
I can say it. You can say it? Yeah, I can say it. But I can't. No. Got it. Mad Love is the name of the movie. Mad Love. Movie. Got it. Thank Mad you very love. much. Okay, that sounds cool. I like Peter Lorre. Um, okay, great. We're going to do the scene now. Uh, sorry. That's okay. Take two. This kid's dead. This kid's dead. It tells now this kid's been dead, but guess what? Guess what? I'm here and I'm going to save him. Doctor, doctor, will uh, you let uh -huh. me? Uh, sure. I mean, it's a coma, but I suppose that, yeah, basically he's dead. Um, what, what do you, what do you propose? Uh, what's your name? I'm awake? My name's I'm awake and I'm the CEO of Buzz, Buzz, Buzz Today. Have you heard of us? Have you tried our beans? Yeah, there's a Buzz, Buzz, Buzz Today on every corner of every intersection. That's um, right. North, South, and East, and West. We'll Buzz, Buzz, Buzz we you like all the best. Wow. Uh, great. So what do you have in mind? Uh, what? should I, what, hit the kid or something? No! Who would hit a kid? Why, only a monster would do something like that! Okay, what are you doing with your, uh... Never mind. Um, okay, so... Well, then, what do you recommend, then, huh? Bright person? What? Bright person? Uh, I don't know. Smart I don't understand the thing you're saying! I never went to medical school! I'm just here to save this kid! Oh, and you're gonna give him what? Coffee? Because that's all you seem to know. <laughs> oh, oh, laugh all you want. Laugh. Okay. Laugh. But guess what? Yes, I am gonna give him some coffee. Oh, really? It, but the problem is, I just, I just gotta get it. Do you need help? I just gotta get it. No, I can do it. Is I just it, gotta. Is it in that apple box down right next to you? I just gotta get it. Okay. And, I can get it. I just, I just gotta get it. I'm not bothered by this, but I can get it for you if you want. I get it. Ah! Ah! My oh my god! Oh my, my god! Oh. They found me here, Doctor. Uh, who found you here? <laughs> my enemies, the people who don't want me to wake up this dead kid! Oh, right. I've heard about this. This cabal of sleepwalking assassins. Uh, okay, wow. Uh, so you're. Jesus. All right, you have, you have dark enemies. Okay. Well, should you give coffee to this kid and see if, see if it helps, I guess? We'll see what happens. Yes, but it's not just any coffee. It's buzz, buzz, buzz today coffee. Oh, that stuff's like, that stuff is like crack. That stuff is like crack cocaine. It makes you stay awake for a long time. Yeah, yeah, this kid's gonna go from all the way asleep to all the way awake. I guess that's kind of what we're going for anyway, so I suppose it's worth doing a little experimentation here. Okay, I trust you. Fuck these parents. Get the kid's mom on the line and tell her she'll never cry again. Oh, wow. I'd never get to do that, actually. Um... Should I, should I just, sorry, I don't want to break character, but should I just pretend that there's coffee? Cause... Yeah, just go ahead and do some space work, yeah. Okay. Mrs. Carmichael, you know that news you wanted to hear? Well, listen to this. You're never gonna cry again, Mrs. Carmichael! That's I'm Awake. They're that... the CEO of Buzz 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 Today Coffee. And we're now pouring the Buzz 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 Today ah! Coffee in. Okay, she's, they've cracked open a keg, and they're pouring it into your child's mouth. I'm just gonna pretend that the cheese is the, is the coffee. That was coffee. You didn't have any coffee. So I know. I'm sorry. Thank cheese. you for being very crafty with your performance. Um, and <sighs> oh my gosh, Ma, where's mommy? Where's daddy? Holy shit! It worked. I'm a. Oh god! I'm so wired. Oh my god! I'm so fucking wired right now. Whoa! 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 Wow. That's right. Thank me, doctor. Uh. Thank you. I'm awake. You're welcome. Thank me, little kid. What's your name? I don't know my name anymore! I don't know my name anymore! I don't know my name anymore! Oh, it's working. It's working. You're gonna come home with me. What? You little kid, you're mine now. Is that? You're mine. You belong to Buzz 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 today, Coffee. You signed a waiver. Oh, God, he did. All right. Uh, well, is that gonna wear off at any time, or is that just permanent now? Everything's permanent. Okay. Cut. Wow. 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 Really good. Give her a hand. Amanda. Hey! No, 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 no. He didn't say anything. You didn't even hear it, did you? 
That's so funny because Wait, what? Like, I just you missed it, but he said and. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I was gonna say the same I thing. I forgot to. I forgot to tell you that when I hear applause, I oh. can't hear anything else. Wow. <laughs> so if you ever want to say something that you don't want me to hear, all you have to do is just applaud. We just have to put two hands together. Oh God. Oh, sorry. Here. Hands, 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 hands. Thank you. Let's, let's, Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Uh, we're gonna get notes for that scene, actually. Everyone's applauding right now. That's great. I was gonna say before we get the notes, let's see who this guest act actor is. I'm sorry, I have the hiccups. Um, let's see. Actor attached. Oh no, tricky dick. Oh, jeez. Oh, you know what? He's an amazing lover. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't I didn't want to know that. Uh, yeah. When did, you and, when did you and Dick Nixon have a thing? Well, you know the uh, blank space on the Watergate tapes? <laughs> yeah. well, yes. Let's just say it's not what everyone thought. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Is that gonna be awkward for you guys on set? <laughs> no, but maybe a little bit awkward for everyone else. <laughs> I see, all right. And I'm starting to see his fingers being like that as a completely different thing now. Um, <laughs> I don't understand. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry I made that joke. Um, great, so we're gonna go ahead and get some notes for that scene, Amanda. That was, uh, that was really, really amazing. Uh, you bring such a great energy to it. Uh, let's see, some notes here. Uh, Nixon did nothing wrong. Great. Well, maybe uh, one or two things, but... <laughs> Noted. Uh, no. Uh, hey, sorry. So sorry. That's uh, fine. What's I'm, going on? I'm from Domino's, yeah. and uh, we actually had a delivery for this address. Um, okay. A pair of hands... Ah! Sorry. Are you what? Sorry. Uh, it's unorthodox, but they actually placed the order. Oh, um, I think it's those guys. Yeah, they ordered a gun. Domino sells guns now. Domino sells guns now. Yeah, we your pieces are not <laughs> not profitable anymore. No. Okay. Um. Uh, so you can just tip on the app. <laughs> you can just tip on the app now these days is what I'm hearing. Please. Hands. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 Look. Quick, everyone clap. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look, why don't you tell your friends there that if you get this part, they are technically movie stars as well. Okay. Would that maybe interest them and perhaps make them not point the live gun at anyone on set? Oh God. I, I want you to know that if you get this part, you're gonna be a movie star. They love it, they love it. Okay, love all right, good, good, great, all right, uh, all right, good. Perfect, thank you. Oh my you. god, they're beautiful. Oh no. I never knew how beautiful they were. Now we're were. entering some sort of, yep, mm -hmm. some kind of psychosis. It's kind of like Santa Sangre. With the Stockholm Syndrome. A little bit, but with uh, these things. Uh, can we get some notes, please, uh, for this last scene here? Hey, something just occurred to me. Yeah, Bad what's up? love, where the you-know-whats come and try to hurt people. Sure. Dr. Strange love. Mm-hmm. Same, same thing, thing. same thing. Doing? Is that a play on... What's happening here? <laughs> What's going on here? Is oh. that allowed? Is that a play on like... Oh God. Mad love? Oh, maybe. Because if so, it's kind of like hack of... Terry of Southern and whoever yeah. wrote that movie, yeah. Do you two need a room? Are you okay? Is this good? It seems it's like so you're on good terms now. I thought you'd be happy for me that I've found some body acceptance and... I am, absolutely, yeah. Are they still murderous? Can we we can't say the word still? I don't know. Try it. Hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. We did it. Woo! We did it. Okay. We did it. Um. So this is allowed. Someone Good. said for her to be more afraid of the assassin. Right. So you have to be a little more scared of your. Uh, you know. So like a, a bigger performance. <laughs> yeah. Is that bigger. could you? Okay. Yeah, okay. So, so I should probably listen a little less than I was last time. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Less listening. We don't want you to have to reach your five inch thing, but right up to the full five inches. In yeah. Performance exactly. Possible. The ceiling. Okay. Yeah. So scared of the assassins. Um, any other notes that we're seeing here? More scenery. More space work. Really use the space. Got it. Okay. So use the space slash work. 
Can I? Can you tell me how big my frame is? Like, can, uh, can I, yeah. Here, let's make it. Uh, let's go. Is it like, um, is the, like, is that? That's about it. Yeah. yeah. Right there. So you got the whole span right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Use it. Use it. Use it. Oh man, yeah. This is like a like a battlefield. Yeah, Good. Oh. <laughs> and they're asking you to use a different voice, if that is okay. Okay. Yeah. Of your own volition, you can choose whatever voice you want. Okay. Within reason and taste. Okay. Why am I so fuzzy? Now oh, whatever. Uh, okay, great. So, scared of the assassins, use the space more, change your voice. Do we want any, um, oh, of course, now that you're on good terms, see if you can do a little chemistry with your hands. Oh, okay. If that's, gladly, if that's cool. Gladly. Yeah, right? Great. This is gonna be awesome. Let's go ahead and do another take. Take two, Mark. Yeah, this kid's not waking up anytime soon. <laughs> He's gonna wake up. He's gonna wake up right now. Who let this chimney sweep in here? Um, I'm not a chimney sweep, I'm a CEO, and that was sexism, governor. If I'd been a man coming in here, you'd have said who's the CEO, not who's the chimney sweep. Oh. What's happening here? Okay, uh, look, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I've seen you on MSNBC before. You're I'm awake. You're yes. the CEO of Buzz 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 Today Coffee. That's right. And who are you? Uh, I'm I'm Doctor Fist, uh, and I'm you know a little upset that we can't wake this child up, but uh, that child's dead. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I'm assuming here. So we're gonna have to let the parents know that he's uh, not waking up anytime soon. Wait, you didn't let me finish. Oh, I'm that sorry. child's dead. Until now, because what? I'm here with my coffee from Buzz 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 Today Coffee to wake him up. You think your coffee's gonna wake the kid up from a coma? Ha, <laughs> that's rich. Sure, go ahead, why not? Try it out. I'm, I'm saying this sarcastically because I believe, no, this kid is gonna be in a coma for a long while, and your sugary ass coffee's not gonna change anything about it. Don't. Oh my God. Question me. What up your voice? Um, I'm gonna wake up okay. everyone in this town. Okay. I'm gonna wake them up. Okay. I'm gonna wake you up. I'm gonna wake up your wife. I'm gonna wake up your kids. Please and don't. I'm gonna wake up this dead kid right now. Okay. Use the space. Use the space. Where are you going? What's happening here? I'm gonna wake up this uh, dead kid. Uh, I'm gonna wake up Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. It's fine. Oh, God. Nurse, nurse. Can I get my coffee? Oh, sorry. Nice. Can you? There you go. I, uh, nurse, nurse, no. Oh, fuck. It was fine. No, okay. Can I get my coffee? Yes, love. Here's your cup of jar. Oh, thank you. All right, so you're gonna just give this kid some buzz, buzz, buzz today coffee, and you think he's gonna wake up? That's exactly what I think. Okay. And if you had two brain cells, you'd think it too. I run this town. I run this town. And I kissed Richard Nixon. Oh, I didn't need to know that. Um, That's called character development. Right. I'm, I'm getting a better sense of your character now. You wouldn't know, would you? No. You're just a one-dimensional doctor. It's true. You've never saved a kid's life in, in your life. <laughs> Why are you being so mean? It's true. I have a very, very high body count as a doctor. Wait a minute. Okay, you poured the coffee into it. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh! Oh, whoa! I'm so awake! What happened? Where's my mommy and my daddy? You don't need a mommy or a daddy anymore, little kid, because you have me, and I'm both. I'm your mommy and your daddy. Okay, um, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, I don't know, son. I'll tell your parents you're awake if you want, and I'll just, uh, we'll get you away from this, uh, scary... CEO here. Huh? Scary CEO! I'm not scary, I'm afraid! I'm so afraid! What What are you afraid of? What am I afraid of? I'm afraid of the assassins who are coming here right now! There's assassins coming after you? Yes, and I'm so scared! Okay. Okay. Uh, oh. That's okay. Alright. <laughs> I'm, I'm being fully Stockholm syndromed here. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Everything's all right. Will it? Uh, sure. You know what would make me feel better about the scary assassins? What would be? If you would drink some of the coffee. 
Uh, sure, why not? You know, I haven't had my morning coffee, th coffee today. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, what did, what did you do to me? I'm not gonna go to sleep ever again, no! I'm gonna wake up this whole town. Perfect, cut! Yes, thank you very much. Amazing work. Amazing work. You feel good about it? You feel good? I feel, I, you know, it might just be my best role yet, and that's saying something. Yes. Because I was in Gay Terminator and Gay Robocop. Really, really challenging work. Uh, and just legendary stuff, too. Uh, we really hope that, you know, we're going to see what the producers say. We're going to open up a poll here. Let's see if you get the role. Who do you think Stumptown might want in on this? You, you think Stumptown's going to want to, you know, back this up? Maybe Stumptown is like the, uh, the hero coffee that put you to sleep. We're gonna have to talk to the screenwriters about it, actually. It's a little confusing. Maybe they only make decaf. There you go. Yes, and that's the ending of the film, is that yes. finally a company made decaf coffee. I'm also I'm also a screenwriter. I've written every movie. You've written every single film. Mm -hmm. You've worked on every movie. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. You're, I'm so happy we're getting a, a stage and screen legend such as yourself on this project. It's gonna be really, really huge. Um, what's your favorite movie that you've written? My favorite movie that I've written is um, I mean, Citizen a lot of Kane movies. 2. You wrote Citizen Kane 2? Yes. Holy shit. That was a good Citizen one. Candy Kane. It's a Christmas film. Yeah, I remember. I remember. You know what? I will say you fixed Orson Welles' problem, which is that uh, no one rode the goddamn sled, and they rode the sled in your movie. I thought that was pretty smart. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Fun. Yeah. It, it, it was a 30 minute sequence, but it felt like maybe like 28 minutes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I mean, talk about using the space. <laughs> and it's a, it's a landslide. Oh, oh my God. Oh my gosh. Who voted no? Amanda, okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, well, it's do we like have to do that? Um, Mike from Space. Mike from Space, log off. Run, run away. Run, ver run very far away. Uh, Amanda, and your hands. Congratulations. Uh, you've gotten the role. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Of course, of course. Thank you. Yeah, yeah yes, yes. Uh, so we'll we'll call you, and uh, we'll have you on set in a couple weeks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're do I. I just. Yeah, you two. You can. You three can go. Yeah, if the relationship sours with your hands at any time, just give us a heads up. Please let us know. Please let us know. Okay, it seems like things are good. You're getting hot and heavy. It's a little bit of a honeymoon, yeah. you know, phase a little bit. Good for that. Yeah, pretty exciting. I'm happy when people can make up. Yeah, and we saw that in real time. Yeah. We can clip that and submit it to, like, I don't know, a science board of some sort. We're going to go ahead and uh, go to the B game. Cool. Yeah. We're going to do some ADR for some films that, are, that we're working on. ADR is, you know... Sometimes when you're shooting a movie, uh, the wind happens and you can't hear the words that the actor's saying. So they got to go into a booth and say those words again. And then we'll loop that into the movie. So it sounds like they said it perfectly. So we're going to go to the, the video voice phone booth. I don't know words anymore. I am dying. Let's go ahead and go to the bumper. All right, folks, we are now doing some ADR today. Let's make this quick. I got my kids Bart Mitzvah today. Got to go to. Got to really make that Bart Mitzvah. All right, so uh, who's uh, who's in the booth right now? Hey, I'm um, Spike Crunch. Spike Crunch. Great. And what movie are you uh, doing lines for? Uh, they said it was some kind of like action movie. Like, um, I forget what it was called. Something like Gay Terminator. Gay Terminator, got it. Yeah, they're doing the the reboot of that right now. Yeah. Great. So can we get the the line that Spunk Spunk Crunch Spike Crunch is uh, saying right now? Let's get some dialogue in the chat, please. And we're gonna just do a couple takes of the same line. 
And uh, we'll use the best take. Um, Spike Crunch. Congratulations on being Kate Terminator. What are you up to next? What's thanks, your next project? Thanks. Uh, well, I'm hoping that they're going to franchise it. I heard that they were thinking about doing, like, Gay Robocop. Sure, sure. Uh, you might be in Gay Terminator 2, Judgment Gay. Judgment Gay would be great. <laughs> I yeah, mean, it's kind of that kind of whole thing sure. would be what I'm into. Got it. All right. So was uh, I'm going to munch your lunch, kid. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. That's my name is similar to that. Exactly. Yeah. So right, uh, great. I'm going to munch your lunch. I'm going to I'm going to munch your lunch. I'm going to Okay. We'll do All a right. couple takes. Great. All right. And Okay, let's cut. Okay, very right. interesting what just happened. Like we nailed it. Yeah, you know, I bet you did, but when you pulled the visor on your helmet down. The what? The the gla the, oh, the plexiglass? This whole thing? Yeah. yeah. When you do that, it actually muffles your voice. Mm, yeah, I just didn't want to get I'm still like into the whole COVID thing, so I don't want to get any of that. That into is your the, that's your safety <laughs> that's your yeah. safety mask? Yeah, this is my mask. You're in a glass booth. I'm not I've never been in the same room as you. Yeah, I know. It's just I know there's a lot of people, talent coming in and out of here, and I don't want to spread particles onto You've, your but equipment. It's, but it's open right now. What's that? Their your visor's up, so You're talking. You're talking. Totally, totally. Alright, let's go for another one. Okay, and let's just try it without you pulling the thing down, if that's okay. Sure. All right, we're going to go again. It's, I'm going to munch your lunch, kid. You got it. I'm going to munch your lunch, kid. Right. <laughs> that's Rolling. Fun. That's fun okay. Let's cut. I felt that one. That one felt good. Yeah, I bet you did. Can you just, I'm not going to record on this one. Can you just say the line? Of course. Right now. I'm going to munch your lunch, kid. Great. Fun line. Fun yeah. line. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Do it just like that, please. All right, you got it. Okay, rolling. All right, let's cut. That was slower and longer. That somehow. one felt good to me. Yeah. And could you say the line normal and plain again? You want me to say the line? Yeah. Okay, are we rolling? No. It says rolling right there. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a typo. That's a broken computer right there. Oh, okay. Fuck. Wah, wah, Shit. God damn it. Wah, wah, wah. Cut. I'm going to munch your lunch, kid. All right, I got to go. Fuck you. Fuck. Take off. Fuck you, Chuck Lunch, whatever his name was. God damn it. Okay. Moving on. Let's get the next uh, actor in here. Let's just fly it on in. Hey, how's it going? Hey, uh, what's your name? I'm Billy Johnson, teen heartthrob. Billy John. Oh, duh, yeah, I saw you in the cover of Tiger Beat. Yeah, yeah, my was... next project, Starship Gay Guys. Starship, Starship Gay Guys. Starship Troopers, but they're gay this duh, time. Duh, duh, obviously, yeah. Um, yeah, we can really go on a riff there, I suppose, but we're not going to. So, Billy, what's your name? Johnson. Johnson, I'm got teen it. heartthrob. Of I course. I recently turned 20. Oh, no, so you're kind of, yeah, let's... let's trying make... to sort of remake my identity. Yep, yep. Um, Uh-oh, seems like the internet might be going a little haywire for some viewers here. Um, Man, that would suck, because I had a whole thing prepared. Really? You did? <laughs> yeah, this is going to be rich and subtle, well, nuanced. Right. Okay, good. And uh, what movie are you doing ADR for? Uh, Could this be for Starship Gay Guys? I don't oh, know. duh, I'm sorry. Being sent. Of course, yeah, this is My for Starship Gay Guys. My agent just sends me around. They got me all hopped up on pills. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, it's 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 good, honest work, and someone has to do it. Okay, so we're going to get your line here, Billy. Uh, what's the line? Say night, night, little bitch. Uh, Gord. It's just another Reba Monday. That's a callback to a previous episode of our show. Boy, I love Mondays, but like sad. Hmm. Let's see. It's birthing time, baby. Sorry, Scott. Now we're going a little bit? Okay. Uh, let's go with uh, Get Out of Town, Buster Brown. <laughs> I'm totally going to smash these bugs then make out with my boyfriend. That is a line from Starship Gay Guys. So, yeah. Uh, we're yeah, we, with that. we could never get that on the day. There was always wind or some problem. Ugh, isn't that it the line? We knew we were going to have to ADR that one. Isn't Santa Clarita the worst? Yeah. Okay. So, so the internet is down a little bit. Okay. So should we just like hold tight, or should we keep on performing? All right. What? What is? Uh, were you like a Disney star or something? 
Yeah, yeah, I was on a couple Disney shows, and then uh, I was I was in a love triangle with Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson. Wow, yeah. very cool. Yeah. So you're with both of them at one point. Me. Yeah, I was, I was kind of going back and forth. Very and that's kind of launched me into the stratosphere of like mainstream. And okay. then uh, as soon as I turned 18, I had an OnlyFans and that was very popular and successful. Nice, nice. And uh, now I'm just, you know, trying to trying to get the Oscar. I'm going for the big one. I'm You're going really, for it yeah, right off the bat? Yeah, Age 20? Big guys, I think is going to get me my Oscar. Yeah, well, people love Verhoeven. Um, and what? Uh, how, how old was Tatum O'Neill when she got her Oscar? I don't know. She I got the Oscar, right? Stuff. Am I wrong on that? She might have been like nine or something. So never too late or too early, I suppose. Do we get what my line's going to be? Uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be totally going to smash these bugs, then make out with my boyfriend. Okay. Which, you know, makes sense because That's Starship the Troopers, yeah. there's a bug. What's going on. You're a gay guy. That's cool. That's what you do. Um... All right, so it's totally going to smash these bugs and then make out with my boyfriend. Yeah. Is just, that it? That's it. Just letting you know, um, people are probably going to miss your bit live. Hey, you know what? They're not missing much. So let's go ahead and get it. <laughs> let's get it loaded up. All right. Don't say that. Come you on. Know, I've, I've got most of what I needed to do out of the way. <laughs> You've already done the bit, most yeah. of it? All right, cool. I'll just say I think twice and get out of here. All right, sounds good. How are we doing on the internet? Totally going to smash these bugs and then make out with my boyfriend. I'm gonna just go ahead and start recording. All right, sounds good. Totally gonna smash these bugs and then make out my boyfriend. One of the Stranger Things kids. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right, let's cut. Very good. Uh, you don't have to let them know that in the line. Uh, okay. They'll know that, I think, in the movie. I didn't tell them which one, though. So I left Right, that got on. it. Okay, so you're just- Is it the one with similar hair to me? Or one of the other ones. That's true. That's a fair point. I guess that line is written like that for a reason. Uh, impressive stuff. Okay. We'll do one more take for you. If that's all right. all right. Sounds good. I'm going to go backwards hat for this one. There you go. Totally going to smash all these bugs and then make out with my boyfriend. One, but you don't know which one of the Stranger Things kids. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, all right, I'm out of here. Yep. See you later, Billy Johnson. Okay, we're all right, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and take a take a pause here.
Okay, I restarted my computer and it seems to have worked. Let's do one more act, voice actor and we'll get, we'll get into the, we'll get back to the movie. Hello there. Hello, did, did somebody order a real sweetie pea? Oh shit, uh, it seems like we did, yes. Can I get your name? Yeah, my name's um, Pete, Pe David Sweet. Peep, Peep, David's Peep. David's Sweet. I'm so sorry, Peep, David Sweet. And I'm here to be really sweet to everybody. Got it. And it says here that you're doing lines for the Super Sweetie movie. You have a really nice voice, yes. Oh, thank you. Uh, great, so let's go ahead and get your line here, uh, Peep. Pete? Peep. Pete. 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 David Pete. Sweet. Got it. I you know get what? it. And I don't mind at all that you're messing up my name because you're just so nice. That is so sweet of you. Ooh, I'm going to be so sweet to you. That is so sweet of you. Um, Ooh. Yeah, Peep David Sweet. Uh, can we get the line for Peep David Sweet here for the big sweetie movie? I brought you some chocolate that I'm going to give to you after this really? session. <laughs> wow, we're going to end this real soon. I would like to, I would love a chocolate right now. What kind is it, uh, may I ask? It's the kind that has um, the caramel in the middle, and inside of the caramel is a smaller caramel, and inside of that's a little almond. And if you lean in and listen to the almond, it says, you're so nice. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to be so sweet to everybody in this voiceover studio. Wow, Wonka popped off of that one. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, the line here is, I'm sweet like honey, now pay me my money. Okay. Let's go for it. Recording in three, two, one. <clears throat> I'm sweet like honey, so now please pay me my money. That's great. That was really that was really sweet. Um, it was very sweet, right? I'm yeah, so yeah, yeah. Sweet. Let's okay. do, let's let's go boisterous with this one. You know, like uh, super. I don't know, like a little happy or, or, or so. Uh, can we get that in featured chat by chance? Is that? Uh... Well, I did. See, he's probably... Thanks, man. Uh, I'm sweet like honey, now pay me my money. And okay. we'll do a kind of like lively one of it, okay? okay. Thanks, Peep. Yeah. Pete. Pete. All right. There you go. I'm sweet like honey, so please pay me my money. Did I do a good? Um, you seem like a little a little quieter. Is everything okay? No, everything's fine. I I, I thought it was I thought it was nice. Okay, yeah. It, I mean, it was. It was very nice. Yeah. You know what? Thank thanks. No, yeah, of course. Yeah. Let's experiment. Okay. Let's do one mean. Mean? Yeah. I could never. <laughs> oh, I know, Pete. I know. But just try your best to pretend that you're being a, you know, a little bully. But it's just pretend, okay? okay? A little tough guy. Okay. Yeah, like a little tough guy. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, let's okay. try it one more time. I'm sweet like honey, so please pay me my money. You know what? I like it. A lot of personality in them. All right. The Sweetie movie, the big Sweetie movie is coming out. Oh, God, tomorrow, actually, for mm -hmm. Valentine's Day. That's exciting. Okay. Well, congratulations and good luck to you. Thank um, you. Yeah. And uh, you have a really nice personality. Thank you so much. Can we have some of that chocolate? Let's have some of that chocolate. No, he's nice. He's really nice. He's crawling? That's fine. That means he likes you. All right, good. It's Sir Anthony Hopkins also. Okay. Okay, bye. Hi, welcome back. So uh, we're back casting Slipper Knights, the sleepwalking assassin film. We've got our Rip Van Wickle. That's Mort Sugar. He's an unknown. Uh, but he's backed up by a legend in the industry uh, playing I'm Awake. We have Amanda. They're in every movie and they've written every movie. 
And they had an affair with Richard Nixon during the Watergate. Scandal. And they boinked Richard Richard Nixon. That's so crude. Uh, they were having an affair with Richard Nixon. And the spots in the tape of uh, the Watergate scandal were where they were boinking. Okay. Um, so now we're looking for the mentor character, Rip Van Winkle's mentor, who's a hypnotist. Uh, and they, they teach them how to go to sleep, but with implanted ideas of murder and, um, you know, uh, stylistic ways of killing, essentially. Um, they were lovers. Yes. Sorry. Uh, Gort Bovani. And I feel like that name was brought up before, so that's good. Dr. Snooze. Uh, oh, there is a movie called Dr. Sleep, isn't there? I just remember, remember that. Molly Mesmer. Uh, Professor Spam. It's pretty good. Let's get some more names. Um... I like Gort Bovani. Professor Pillow, Big Balls Barrel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Master Prop. Hmm. Professor Pillow's cute. Sal Sleeper. I'm liking Professor Pillow so far. Professor Doctor, <laughs> the gaffer. Dork Brinkley. Hi, Werner Herzog eats. Hello. 1000 Count Richard, Brett Favre. Dr. Painfingers. It's Dr. Painfingers. Thanks to first time chatter and producer Crazy Beard. Thank you so much. It is Dr. Painfingers, the hypnotist. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get our next actor in here and uh, see who we're working with. Damn, that's a crazy beard. Crazy beard. Thanks so much for joining us. Hope you're having a good time. We're making a movie. It's called Slipper Nights, and it's about sleepwalking assassins. And we have our next actor in here. Hello, go ahead and give us your name. Hello, hi, how are you? <laughs> hi, how's it going? Yes, I'm doing great. Uh, my name's Mal Full, otherwise known as the man of a thousand and one voices. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I'm a voice actor. Or as uh, one of my well-known characters would say, I'm, I'm, a, vo I'm a voice actor. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're a regular Mel Blanc or <laughs> yeah, Bill yeah. Or that's, not, no, that's not my name. It's Malful. Mal. It's Malful. Mal yeah, Malful. Thousand and one voices. I'm only allowed to do about five hundred of them now. Oh. I. I can only assume why. Uh, great. So yeah. Mouthful or Malful? Mal. First name Mal, last name F U L with an umlaut Mal over the over the U. Ooh, very cool. Okay. <laughs> or as uh, my one of my one of my favorite one of my favorite little guys would say, uh, I think it's a little umlaut over the U. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Huh? What was that? Uh, that was my that was my character Fishy Mc, Fishy McDuke from the from the show uh, Papa Papa Loves You. I don't remember that one. Papa Loves You on the on the uh, on the Nickelodeon. Oh, oh, nah, I don't know. I'm sorry, I must have missed that. I did generation. six or seven voices on that show. I did, uh, wow, uh, uh, Greg Probst. I did, uh, Greg Probst. I did a hello, it's me, Greg. Uh, it's me, Greg. He was a, 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 he was a funny. And do fishy? Do fishy? Yeah. Oh, it's me, fishy. And now do Greg? Ah, oh, it's me, Greg. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Uh, well, great. Thank you so much for coming here, and you're reading for uh, Dr. Painfinger. Oh, uh, yes, I think I'm reading for Dr. Painfinger. <laughs> that was my character, um, Oscar Schindler. Oh. I did the dubbing for that movie. You did? For Schindler's the, List. For which dub? <laughs> for the uh, Japanese dub. <laughs> the Japanese dub. They needed it. So it's interesting. So they had the, in the English lines, they uh -huh. had him speak in Japanese, and then Got for it. the German lines, they had him speak in English. Which was an interesting choice. I don't know why the really the that Spielberg is playing. But last time I checked, um, I I, I try I could have saved them all. I should, I didn't save enough of them. That was the line from the end of the movie. Remember yeah, I remember that. It's pretty devastating. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I sound like Cameron in Ferris Bueller's Day Off when he's doing the adult voice. Oh, sound I like did Alan the dub Rock. for that too. Yeah. You did the dub for I Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I did the Bueller's dub Day for Off. him. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Very cool. Well, I'm glad to have a veteran in here. I did. I did the dub for them. I did the dub for them. And who was that? Um, uh, uh, Georgie. Georgie. Uh, Georgie Buxom. Okay. From the show Buxom's in Charge. I've never heard of any of these shows. I feel so stupid. That one was on Cartoon Network. That was on the C. Really? The, the CN. Really? Did you uh, do voices for Courage the Cowardly Dog? Uh, yeah, yeah. I did. Oh, the, did. I did the grandmother. You played Muriel. Muriel. On no, Courage the grandmother. 
Okay. The oh, it's me, the great mother from the courage. Okay, I vaguely remember that, I guess. Remember that? Sure. SpongeBob SquarePants? F- uh, SpongeBob? You do any voices on SpongeBob? Sp- SpongeBob. You telling me? I in the Japanese dub of you SpongeBob. Did the Japanese I did. Dub yeah. Of SpongeBob. Yeah, I did. Got it. Okay. Yeah. That? Yeah. <laughs> right now? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, am I not auditioning for? I'm trying to break into live action stuff. Oh, of like course, of course, stuff. of course. I'm so they, sorry. We call so this sorry. flesh work in my industry. You do? <laughs> yeah, this is flesh work we're doing. Got it. Got it. Got it. I'm, okay. I'm doing work of the flesh. I see. I get it. We got. Or as my, or as my character. Cletus uh, Bojangles in the in the show. Uh, uh, oh, look! Look! Uh, look at this guy. <laughs> uh, would say, I'm doing flesh work. Do Japanese SpongeBob. Do Japanese SpongeBob. <laughs> you really, so you, you really, SpongeBob. really made your bed with Japanese you SpongeBob. Unfortunately. Oh, it's me, Japanese SpongeBob. I don't know about that. I don't know, I don't know about that. <laughs> Why even dub it then? Well, no. So they give me this script. <laughs> they give me this script. <laughs> they give me this script and they write out the Japanese words as if they're English language words, and so I just read it right off the page. I don't have it in front of me, so I'm just saying what he would say if he were able to speak English. Yeah, that's Steve Hillenberg is playing 5D chess. I can't believe it. Um, Phonetically, that's the word. Thank you, That's baby. the word. Thank you. Just like Jackie Chan uh, learned all of as his my, English as, dialogue. As, as my character, uh, uh, Tuna, 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 Tuna Joe, Tuna Joe, from the show, uh, 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 oh, Joe's, uh, Joe's going back to school. You seem to barely remember all of these dialogue. You did a I'm a man of, of a lot of voices. But as the guy would say, as the guy would say, um, I, I will man with a thousand voices. He says that in the show? Uh-huh. Okay. All right, let's get started. What were the location and the tone? I was... It's a uh, horror in a boxing ring. <laughs> horror film in a boxing ring. Okay, cool. Great. So you're playing Dr. Pain Fingers, and you are uh, you're hypnotizing our main character, Rip Van Wink... Rip Van Wickle. Um, into just happened. Uh, you're hypnotizing him into learning how to murder people. Oh, Mac, uh, uh, Mac plays to answer your question. We um, got him. oh, wow, whoa, we got exciting stuff. And we have a new actor hey, attached to the film. Hey, what's happening? Uh, we have an actor attached. <laughs> that to the was film. a guy that I did called uh, um, Ellen. Oh, okay, gotcha. Holy shit, we got Goku. Oh, my God. oh I, I did Goku. I did Goku. Goku in the German dub of oh, Dragon you did Ball Goku Z. In the German yeah. dub. Wow, we have Goku here wearing a Michael Jordan Bulls jersey. No, oh, I'm charging my spirits bump. They had him It's interesting that they kept it in English and they just had me do a really bad German accent for the That is pretty fucking weird. DBZ this stuff. photo is so goddamn hype. I cannot I stop staring at it. I would love to have that as like a huge sticker on the back of my car. Yeah. The entire back windshield is just that. Um, yeah, could we try a different voice? <laughs> 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 could we try a different voice for this You one? fucking bet you can. All right. Uh, yeah, do a different voice. Let's take a pick, huh? We got a lot to choose from, huh? Right, 501. <laughs> 501. 501. What, what happens we to have the 1001. The libs won't let you say that. All right, he said it. Okay, we are going to do this scene. It's a horror film in a boxing ring, and you are hypnotizing Rip Van Winkle to do your bidding. Well, the- sure, I'm happy to happy to do it. Imagine Goku saying the, some of the lines from that uh, Chicago Bulls documentary. The Last Dance? Right, yeah, The Last Dance. And I took that personally. Remember that? It went viral where he was doing this. I'm doing a different voice now, too. Ah, uh, man, we're having fun. All right. I'm glad you're having fun. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? What's your name? Me? No. Shut okay. up. Who are you? That's Clark Jun Ho. He's the director. Uh. I'm a PA. I loved your work in the particular. You know, they say that I'm not allowed to do voices like yours anymore, Clark. I anyway. really like the stuff you were doing in the 90s. I don't know why you don't do those anymore. In the 90s, they were on regular TV. Everyone thought it was fine. Yeah, weren't you the Mucinex man? I do. I did the Mucinex, yeah. Yeah. Got it. I did the Japanese dub for the Mucinex okay. man. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, what's the name of this movie? It's called Slipper Slippery, Nights. Slip, slip, what's the scene? Slippery Nights. What am I doing? We are in a hospital. No, we're, it's a horror film scene. Set in a boxing ring, and you are hypnotizing Rip Van Wickle Jesus to Christ. murder political figures in stylish fashions, and to establish a world order of, uh, I don't know, maybe a less fascist kind of... You know. Are you sure I'm not a talking dog? That sounds like 
that sounds no. like John Wayne, partner. Who's a talking? He talks like he's a talking dog. Uh, uh, cow, cow poke. All right. Let's just try a scene. Let's just try. Okay. It. Slipper Nights, scene three, take one. Thank you. Slipper Nights, kind of like that. That kind of like that song. Uh oh. Son of a bitch. Hold for All train, right. everybody. Cut. Thank you. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Everyone stand still. Nobody move, please. Hold for train. Oh no! Hey. <laughs> are Are you okay? Oh my god. Ow. That okay. train. That train hit cricket of of Wham City. Oh no. Oh my god. All right. That's there. Are, there goes all of our we crap. Have some fruit. We'll give them fruit snacks. All right, good. Oh, okay. Let's throw them some Welch's, please. Thank you. All right, should I? We're doing new, new stuff. Let's try. Here? Let's try it again. I remembered the name of the character of yours. I like. What was it? I shouldn't say no, it. No, right. go ahead, say it. I'll do him. I'll do him on camera. <laughs> no, Come on, do it. do it. Do it. Do it. Slipper Knights. Scene uh, three. Coward. Take two. <sighs> oh, Doctor Pain Fingers. I don't want to kill anymore. My days in the military. You know, I did the voice of a train. Um, yeah, could we try a different voice? Oh, yeah, I could do that. Could we try a okay. different voice for um, this one? Oh, Dr. Paintfingers, I just can't kill anymore. I'm just so tired. You know, you know, I was a, I did the voice of a train once. I did the voice of a train for a little, a little program called Choo Choo uh, Chugalug. And he was a name, was named uh, Bobby Bob. Am I? Should I be? Re are we doing the scene? Now? We're doing the scene. Oh shit! Um, so don't tell me about the voices you do. You're feeling very sleepy. I am. I am. You're feeling very sleepy. Ooh, oh. but this is this is a uh, Starbucks. How am I doing? How am I doing, everybody? <laughs> You're fine. Keep going. Okay, I'm sleepy and I'm susceptible to propaganda. Hell, hell yeah, hell yeah! Can I, can I ad lib a little bit? Can I ad lib? Sure. Can I, okay. Go ahead. Sure. <laughs> hey, that's great. That's great. Hey, listen, they're gonna tell you that you're not allowed to do voices like Apu from The Simpsons anymore, but you don't need that. That's not true. Everybody thinks that, that you're only allowed to do one kind of thing. You're only allowed to do one thing. But in truth, it's like everybody's kind of the same. Ultimately, like if I want to do Apu from The Simpsons, I should be able to do that. All right. How am I doing? And that was your riff. <laughs> Right, it's in character because the right. guy is—he's—he's uh, a—he's a hypnotist. He's a hypnotist. Got it. Okay. All right. Let's try going with the script in the next oh, uh, okay. take. Um, right. Well, I just—I just have some notes here. You have notes. I do. I have notes. We give you the notes. Or is my, or is my, or is my character, uh, 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 Lisa, 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 uh, Junebug, from the from the show, uh, Touch and Go. Which is a live yeah, action, one. which is a live action uh, cop drama from ABC. I did the. I, there was an episode where the I, character played by Ice Cube takes a. Oh, this fucking piece of shit! Yeah, Fuck this guy! All right, why you're just jealous? Well, didn't he? He doesn't do Apu anymore, right? Yeah. I'm just saying we we have the same problem, but we compete against each other. Right, right. He does Mo. He does. Oh come on! He's you a... look you the. Uh, there's at least one person out there who looks almost exactly like Hank Azaria. We don't need the. He's Brock Meyer. Close enough, certainly. Yeah. All right. But I'd anyway, I, I so. like my character would say, Chief. I don't even know what I was talking about anymore. I don't care. We're trying to do a scene. <sighs> I'm sorry. God. Look, I just we're trying to this cast a movie. Rough, I, I I respect that you have so many it's stories and so many characters. Yeah. I just. Whoa. Oh my God! It's hey, Hank Azaria for real. Hank Azaria. It's wow. for real, Hank Azaria. Hey, in my old age, I need glasses now. Understandable, hey, sir. Hey, I'm gonna fucking slit your fucking okay. neck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull a razor across your neck. I'm sorry, I don't know who you are, huh? Ooh. Damn, he did Ooh, the, he did the Don Draper he meme. Did the Don Draper meme to this motherfucker. I don't think of you at you at all or whatever. What's hey, up? You're a comic book guy. That's one of your <laughs> non-offensive characters. No, I don't do any of the voices unless I'm on the clock. You can try and do comic book. Guy. No, I find it very offensive to tell me to dance like a monkey. Essentially. Got it. I'm, I'm doing Brockmeyer like now. Monkey. Yeah. How come I no know. one ever asked me to do Brockmeyer? You, you want to do Brockmeyer? Do Brockmeyer. Give us a little Brockmeyer. I've been doing Brockmeyer this whole time. Like six seasons this deep on Brockmeyer. Brock this is my Brockmeyer. This is him. This is how he sounds. I don't think that's your Brockmeyer exactly. Yeah, it is. I've, I've seen, seen the show. I have seen. Are you allowed to do voices that are sound like yours? Yeah, you can. They don't tell you that, but you, they, you can do that. Uh, are right. you allowed to do your work from the birdcage still? No, certainly Got not. Got it. 
No, no, you no. You don't want to try? And I want to be clear. I'm fine with it. I'm not, I'm not resentful. And I can only hope that I, Hank Azaria, really believe this. I'm not resentful about any of that. That's because cool. you, you sleep on a pile of money, you piece of shit. Yeah, that Fuck could you. be it. Simpsons money. What about your voices from Gay Bird Cage? Oh, Gay Bird Cage? <laughs> yeah. I thought Gay Bird Cage had potential, but... Yeah, yeah I right. thought I was reading for LGTV Terminator. I don't know what... I don't know LGTV? What, LGTV Terminator. It's the one where he's a, <laughs> a refrigerator with a TV in yeah, the door. It's, 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 it's television. Anyway, if I was to give notes on this scene... LGBT, whatever the one is, whatever If I was to give notes on this scene, I would say maybe try just recasting the guy. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. What Great. is that supposed to mean? Thanks, Hank. Really loved you your You must have been friends. talking about someone else, I think. You were a hunk back then. Uh, anyway, uh, LGTV Terminator is actually across the hall, unfortunately. You are in the wrong room. Well, I'm already here, and I'm already... Pro I'm already... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, the T... <laughs> T is famously Sanford T-1000, of course. <laughs> How could I forget? I'm such a bad ally. Um, okay. 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 I'm B. I'm B myself. All right. Oh, I'm B. Hey, hold on. I hold on. I gotta do it. I gotta do a cameo real quick. <laughs> you have cameos. Yeah, I gotta do a cameo. I guess voice actors I do. A cameo for yeah. This guy. I wanted him to do uh, Nigerian Arnold from <laughs> Hey Arnold. Hey, how you doing? It's Nigerian Arnold from Hey Arnold. In Nigeria, they make him sound like he's from Brooklyn. I don't know why I'm telling you all this, because I'm Nigerian Arnold. Hey, I got a football head. There's a girl in my Hold class. Train, she's got a crush everybody. on me. She's beating the shit out of me. Ah, okay, well, keep gaming on. And, uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, what do we got? Except each other. Remember that in Hey Arnold, where my friend, my friend's got a big, tall Marge uh, haircut. But, but, but uh, you know, he's not Marge. And then uh, I got a grandpa. Remember that episode where there's like a really stirring story about a, uh, this ex personal experience of a Vietnamese immigrant? That They keep that in the Nigerian version. Um, but uh, it's just not as funny. Is this like a birthday cameo or yeah, something? Yeah, it's a birthday cameo. Anyway, like... anyway, uh, anyway uh, happy birthday, Joe Manchin. Uh, I'm so happy that your <laughs> wife decided to pay for this cameo. I know you're a huge fan of Nigerian. Hey, Arnold. Um, let's try to get some laws uh, that allow me to do Apu voice. Ad Apu adjacent voices, okay? <laughs> let's see if we can get that through the Senate, okay? And, and, <laughs> Happy birthday. And thank you, Senator Manchin, for hanging out in the production office with us today. I love the pictures. Great, okay. I heard a cameo from him as well where he does white Apu. <laughs> can I get that one, please? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> white Apu, so stupid. <laughs> Go ahead, and then we're going to... <laughs> I don't know, do you have to do the scene again? <laughs> no, we'll see. <laughs> Bonjour, c'est moi. <laughs> what the poo? He's a bitch. <laughs> yep. 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 Uh, <laughs> Allons-y à la Quickie Mart. Uh, it's uh, me and my friends. Uh, Bart in Umer. Umer Simpson. Oui, oui. Happy birthday, Senator Sarah Palin. Uh, former <laughs> Senator Sarah, Sarah Palin. Moi, uh, love you. Man, the politicians remember that, love you. Remember that photo? Yeah, I, I'm really popular in, in the DC cameo community, which is huge, humongous. Sure. That kid, that guy Kevin from The Office, he has <laughs> done a cameo for, for like half of Congress. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Hasn't it managed to affect any legislation, though? Yeah, you'd think. You'd wish it would, but... Um, Jeff Dunham has nothing on this guy. There you go. You're welcome. Uh, should we try the scene how again? Many how many Let's voices can you do? Hey, Let's so try it again. I don't know. Somebody if get me a puppet. We, we didn't get the dialogue last time, so I don't know if we have any notes here. Any notes real quick for, um, I'm so sorry. Uh, Malful. Any notes for Malful out in the chat? Hey, my name sounds like Mouthful. I know. It's funny. Just realizing that? That's fucking sick, dude. All right, we got someone here saying do everything different and just stay on the script. Okay, now one more time. What the hell am I doing? What is this movie? This is Sleepy Slipper Nights. This is not. This is not North LGBT. Hollywood Terminator. This is not LGB Terminator. Okay. No. Um, that is probably the name of the episode on YouTube, though. Um, North Hollywood Terminator. We're just gay Terminator. Funny. Um, <laughs> funny, funny. That's a thinker. Very funny. It's like, a, you know, I'm not going to laugh, but it is funny. Thank you, Clark. Um, so it's called Slipper Nights. It's about sleepwalking can you, assassins. Can you do one more impression for me? Can you do Ty Hank Hill? Yes. Can you do <laughs> Ty Hank Hill that you do? Fuck you do off. a really good Ty Hank Hill. <laughs> 
Let's see where it's the angle at the. Does that mean Khan from the is Khan like a Boston guy in no, the Taiwanese? The well, I know that, but there's also you know you got your Laotian character in in that. Hello, Governor. I sell I sell propane and propane accessories down under here in Texas. <laughs> Whoa. Full pivot. Yep. <laughs> We've just crossed the globe with that accent work there. They don't know. They don't know. Where'd you say it was from? Which one's which? Uh, that was Ta Taiwanese King the of the Hill. The Taiwanese Hilltop. don't know, dude. They're too busy watching uh, like Edward Yang films and uh, what's the other? What are a few others from the Thai New Wave? What we? Rebels of the Neon Gods. Rebels, oh, oh man, Sai Ming Long. Okay, I did some dub for some dubbing for Sai Ming Long. Let's I did the good guy dragon the, in. I did the English dub for uh, for um, uh, I don't want to sleep alone. Where wow. they're all on the mattress and they're asleep, and there's no dialogue in the Thai version, but in the English version, they start singing. Um, uh, uh, Anthony works in a grocery store, <laughs> saving his pennies for someday. He goes to Mr. Cacciatore's down on Sullivan Street, across from the medical center. Ah, oh, but working too hard can give you a heart attack. Ack, 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 you ought to know by now. That's fun. All right, let's do the scene. All sure. right. Uh, Swedish nice. Peter, <laughs> we're getting Swedish That's Peter a Griffin. Good one. That's a we're good gonna one. come back on that. We're gonna circle back on uh, that. One. Pay for this shit. Yeah. That's hey, you know what? <laughs> we're Fair just point. giving these away. Fair point. All right, we're doing Slipper Nights, scene three, take three. Sure. Oh, Doctor uh, Painfinger, I'm just so tired of killing and tired in general. Please don't make me kill anymore. Well, now, as far as I can tell, you're going to have to kill, boy. You're going to have to kill. I done hypnotized you. You're going to have to play by the rules, son. You're going to have to go out there and do some killing. This is great. Can you just change your voice right now? Okay, please do sweet. Do the rest of the scene as Swedish Peter Griffin. That's a white race, so you should probably be able to do that one. Just go full hog on that one. That's white. That's one of those white white races, so... But the game is that it's got to be a different place than the place that's actually yeah, on paper, I right? That's okay yeah. This. yeah, so far it's been, I'd say. You got to keep up, okay? All right? So... Shut up, Chris. Let's do it. I, uh, it's me. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's the Everything Now Show. Hello, Hi that's everybody. our show, that's folks. That's been Everything Now. Thank you. Thank, episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, sorry for the the internet uh, kerfuffle. Uh, that was uh, we have we have a roommate who was downloading a lot of instructional material on how to make a pipe bomb, how to yep. how to take manure and Thank turn it into a lethal weapon. It happens to um, the best of us, but we're gonna try to make sure that doesn't happen again. What's going on here? Uh, Why are they doing that? I did great improv. Shut up. All right. <laughs> we do this show every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you had fun at this one, come back on Thursday. It will be a completely different format. It won't be auditions. It'll be something else. But it'll still be interactive improv comedy stuff. Yep. So if you yep. like the general gist of this show, come back Thursday night, same time, same place. We have a very we'll special guest, more. too. We have a very yeah, a special for guest um, who we're excited. I'm. We let's not spoil it. Well, we won't spoil it. But I'm gonna say we're it. We're gonna hype it. Say it at the end, yeah. But also, today's episode was awesome and hilarious, and wouldn't have been such without our very special guest today. Please give a warm round of applause for Cricket Harrison. It's Cricket. Thank you. Clap your homes. Clap in your homes. Hang out. Do a little pose under the sun. You better be clapping in your goddamn for the Instagram. Oh, the hands. hands! Great callback. Yes, the remember the hands. The hands of fate. Uh, Cricket, thank you so much for joining us. This rock, you're the best. Thank you for having me. 
our, our to your pleasure. Here. We're going to do exclamation point guests in the chat so that they can find your socials. Follow Cricket on Instagram or Twitter or anywhere else. Do you have anything you'd like to plug yeah. or let the audience know about? Uh, if you're in LA, I'm in a movie that's playing at the in Los Feliz at the American Cinema Take oh, on whoa. Saturday. Yeah. The Los Feliz Three. The Los Feliz Three. Thank you. Whoa. I couldn't remember the What's number, the but the that's movie? the number. The movie is called Give Me Pity. Uh, there's a screening on Friday and a screening on Saturday. Where can we get can we get tickets uh, via a link in the bio of your uh, socials, possibly? You know, if I were a prepared person, you could. And if you give me like 30 minutes, you will be able to. Hey, <laughs> hey we're gonna we're gonna post a link to it in the Discord once yes. once yeah, they get yeah. the link. Great. We'll put it up. Come to the movies. Point. Come to the pictures. Please, please do. Check out Cricket, amazing comedian and, and filmmaker and performer. Watch The Egg and Help, a really awesome short films. And we're really thankful for that. It's a pleasure. So I think that's it for the show. Come by on Thursday. Yeah. So Pacific here's the situation, guys. Discord. Thursday, we got Branson Reese coming in. Wow. Uh, artist Swan known for Swan Boy, Boy. The Swan Man, and Swan and two Swan. of the and two of the funniest podcasts out there right now. Rude Tales of Magic and Oh These Are the Stars of Space. This was I I have listened to almost every one of these episodes. This is a very exciting thing for me. Big day for Grant. It's a big day for Grant. Grant. Normal for me because I interact with celebrities all the freaking time. Yeah. Uh, it's actually not a big deal for it's me. It's actually no big deal for him. People podcast every day. But for Grant, it's huge, so make sure everybody says nice things about Grant when Branson is here. And join our exactly. Discord. All, this, the Discord. all the celebrity guests, Bulls Goku, Nixon, <laughs> all your favorites. Goku was so cool. Those Bulls guys. Goku, great, so hard. Those, those amazing images were submitted by you, the viewers at home, through our Discord. Every episode of Everything Now Show has a Discord image submission game. And the only True. way to participate in that is to join the Discord and submit images before the shows. And we might use yours on the show. So join the Discord. You also get notifications about like when we go live, announcements about the show, stuff like Follow that. Follow our damn socials, folks. But we're going to be rating Follow our damn socials. Girl. Hell yeah. yeah. Say hi to Bella. Another quick round of applause for Cricket. Please. How great. How great was Cricket? Cricket's the best. Come on now, please. Bring him back. Yeah. Someone said more Cricket next episode. Yeah. Love to have you back. I, I, I'm, I'm in every episode now. I'm just going to have every, every, every movie. movie. She's just going to gonna be five inches tall, so keep an eye out for the Easter egg of Cricket. They're going to be everywhere. Bye-bye. <laughs> right. Oh, everybody. they're going down to our secret staircase. <laughs> Goodbye. And we are out. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.